be better, they said. Uh, Okay guys, back with another video of fixing things that are kind of a nightmare for me. <laughs> uh, we're going to do kind of a custom track bar thing today. Completely getting rid of the um, uh, James Duff setup I got. No offense James Duff, but track bar's not working out. So we have a kit from Rough Stuff we're going to put together. It's going to require some uh, uh, gluing with the welder. so. Um, We'll uh, get into that a little bit here. Basically, all I gotta do is get this track bar out, undo my track bar bracket, start figuring out what we need to do to get the bracket. The new one that I have, this is gonna get welded right under the frame. And if I remember, I'll put links to all the stuff in the description from uh, Rough Stuff. And we got Heim joints, no squishy yarn ball bushings, which is what this has. Should hopefully fix my current dilemma, and maybe it won't wobble going down the highway and steer decently. Right now it does not steer decently. So yeah, we're gonna get the old track bar out. I think I sh kind of showed that in the last few videos. I probably won't show that, but uh, we'll get into kind of putting together the track bar. Um, and this probably won't be a super long video because we're gonna, it's hard to video record and think about things at the same time. So we'll just play this video by ear. So I'll uh, bring you back when we're uh, making some progress. All right, tubes, here's where we're at. We got the track bar out. I still gotta get the bracket, the old one, out of here, but since we're running a rod end, we're gonna run it right here. I have to have some kind of spacer to push this out a little bit and give it room so it can move. Um, so what we found is some three quarter inch pipe, like this, that we're gonna cut a couple of half inch pieces and we'll put one back here and one here and then uh, we can put our nut back on here and then we just put the new track bar tube that I have for this stuck it in here and just ran it kind of where it might be in the new bracket and it looks like we'll be able to get it nice and parallel with the steering link here um, and then with the spacer being on this um, we should have plenty of room for everything to clear, and it'll clear the pumpkin better than the old track bar, so. Trying to have this uh, well bought from Harbor Freight plasma cutter, which I already didn't have a problem with that one piece. But it was like half the thickness. But yeah, it was half the thickness. We're gonna see how it does through this. I'm, we're lobbing an end off because my truck's not lifted as high as uh, it could be. <laughs> and so I'm gonna lob that end off. I'm probably never gonna use it. I'm only gonna lift it two more inches, so it's really not gonna be an issue. We're gonna use one of the two top holes, probably the very top one, so I just want it to clear the axle so that way I can go full bump and not have it crash into anything. Yep. So, yeah, here we go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a test real quick, see if it goes through it, just go like a quarter inch. Yeah. Then I'll stop. And then if it doesn't go through it, we can try turning it up. Yeah, okay. Uh, that looks like it went through. We can have fun <laughs> making it smooth again. Oh, that'll be fine. I can do that. <laughs> That 
works a lot better. Situation update. So we found a piece of PVC that we're just gonna we're just gonna clamp it onto the ends there and just call it a day. Should be fine. No, um, we're using this as a mock-up to see where we need to be, how long the tube needs to be, and we're at full compression or not full compression, but we're at right height. The only thing I'm worried about we're in the top hole on the uh, bracket. I'm worried about hitting the bottom of the uh, steering box there, but I think by the time it hits, this is going to be basically f like full compression, so I think we'll be okay there. Um, I am going to completely bump and strap this thing, you know, so that before the tire hits the wheel well and before all that stuff hits, um, it'll bump out. Um, but we made uh, two spacers, a couple of half inch spacers, it actually worked out really well. Uh, so we got some room there and it keeps our track bar pretty much parallel with everything. It's a little that way, but I don't want this end to be out too far. And then we got it probably halfway welded. We wanted to kind of get the bar, figure out what we we're going to do for the bar before we get too much crazier. And then we cut a little bit off there so we have plenty of room nothing's gonna crash anymore which I'm really excited about that thing's already solid we gotta weld the bottom in and a little bit more on the sides and then we'll be done with that but yeah we can pretty much make the bar finish welding this up let her cool off paint her we're done test it out make sure it doesn't break off the frame might be a good thing I'm gonna trim that bolt down too so it's not as long the hardware store didn't have the right length when I wanted. But yeah, that's where we're at. Um, so far, so good. Be interested to see how uh, tighter the steering is gonna be instead of feeling like it's made of yarn. I mean, even with my steering box that I put in, the Borgeson steering shaft is still spongy because of that freaking track bar. I'm done with it. Done. Yeah. Are you okay? <laughs> it had gotten pressed down onto my nose. Not just slid down my nose, but it was pressed onto it. Pretty much installed here. Got the ends all welded up. Everything's kind of loose on the ends. We're gonna, I'm gonna do a final adjustment um, in a little bit. I think the axle's still fairly centered. Gotta tighten this up with the cotter pin or split pin back in. But before I do all that, I'm going to uh, paint that because if I don't do it now, I'll never do it. We got. Plenty of weld going on there. 
you know, not the prettiest, but we also have these welds over here that someone else did, so. But yeah, this doesn't flex at all. We just turned the steering wheel and it's pretty, uh, pretty stout now. Yeah, the steering wheel is uh, considerably stiffer now. Oh, it's long. Oh, uh, you just turn the key forward just a little tiny bit. So when he turns the steering wheel, the wheels actually turn and the truck doesn't go side to side. We'll test it when we get the wheels on it and actually have a load and see how it does, but I don't think it's going anywhere. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna undo the fastener for the uh, track upper track bar mount and uh, we'll brake clean the outside and um, paint her up. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much done. Just gotta paint it. Paint it, snug everything up, and hopefully my axle doesn't wobble anymore. If it does, I'll probably need to throw some caster in it, but it's had the same amount of caster in it since I put the axle in, and the wobbling didn't come in until that bushing wore out, so. All right, guys, I just took it for a little test spin, and so far, it's a big improvement. I haven't got it fast enough to um, you know, uh, see if it'll wobble. I don't think it will. I still have some gear oil that's kind of dribbling out from when I did the, uh, pulling the axle shafts out. Great. Anyways, yeah, let me show you the finished product. We're, uh, we're pretty much ready to wrap up. That's enough of that for, two, for one day. <laughs> Almost looks factory. Let's see. There we go. Yep. Everything clears. Yeah, we got I got a lot of room between the pitman arm and the track bar and the axle being in the lower spot there. So I don't think we're gonna have to worry about it hitting anything anymore. Yeah, I got tons of room in here now. I used to not have that. And we did trim this bolt, it was a little long, but it's trimmed now. So yeah pretty happy <laughs> yeah just a little bit of gear oil yep I think that's gonna be it guys thanks for watching and we'll uh, catch you in the next video I'll put a link in the description for all the parts for this uh, down below but yeah I'm gonna go take her home, see how it does. Hopefully no more wobble. Got my steering wheel a little bit more straight instead of being all the way over here. So that's a little nicer. And because the track bar is straight, I can adjust it properly instead of having to take an end out, then ratchet strap the truck over, none of that. So yeah, that's it. And big thanks to uh, Scott. I can't do it with my 110 welder, so. <laughs> <laughs>